What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, welcome to another video, another unboxing video. I don't know, what, what happened? I got distracted. Anyways, in this video we're going to be unboxing this. This is the Legacy Parcel. Now I'm kind of confused because the last Legacy Parcel I got was for July. I just received this. Um, they sent it at the end of September, so I guess there's a couple months that they didn't ship. Hopefully I didn't get charged, I don't really know. This is the one subscription that I have that's kind of Pokemon-esque. So let's go ahead and see how they did. It feels really heavy, so I don't know if they, maybe they put multiple months in here, I'm not quite sure. But if you're interested in getting this, I'll go ahead and put all the pricing details in the description below. Maybe that is what they did. Oh, maybe that's what they did, because I have two in here. They, the last one I got is July, and then August, September. It's already the end of October, but maybe these are for August and September. That's what we're going to go with. So we're going to say that this is for the uh, 2017 August and September Legacy Parcel. We'll open the smaller one first. I can't open it. It's too hard. Ow! Ow! Okay. Here we go. Once you open the package, this is what you're going to see. And I see a duplicate item, actually, that I already have. So the first item we have, and this one, I don't know if this is real or not. It doesn't really look real. But this is the Pikachu Ditto mashup plushy thing. Um, here's the tag. I, I've received one of these before. I don't remember what box I received in. This one doesn't look as legit as the one that I have. But there you go, we have a Pikachu slash Ditto mashup plush. We've got these two Pokeballs, let's see what's inside. This one has a Togepi! That's so funny, I love Togepi! I love Togepi, it's a little purple Togepi, you can't really tell. And then I think there's some little stickers in there. And then next we have this one, which has... It has this guy, I don't know who he is. But he's purple as well. Very cool. And then some stickers too. All right. Next we have this. Oh, it's a it's a little like folder, and it says Pokemon Store on it. It has a bunch of different Pikachu's dressed up as different things. And then it's like kind of like a plasticky vinyl material. And then you can like slip your papers in here. All right. And we have two packs of card sleeves. I, I'm kicking myself in the butt forever, like even buying these from the store because I get so many from this subscription that I don't need anymore. But I'm gonna start giving those to the kids at work because they all have Pokemon cards. And we have this, which is probably some kind of sticker. Oh, oops, the top, I opened it from the bottom but the top was open. So we got a sticker of Brigaron. Brigaron, oops, sorry, Brigaron. It seems so fancy to put it in this whole envelope. We have a Pocket Monsters eraser. It's just a white eraser that has like Pokemon designs on it. We got some code cards but I'm actually going to bring these to work because I have some kids at my work who are playing the online game so I'm going to save those for them. And then we got this EX card of Thundorus. I like that they have it in a sleeve and everything. That's super cool. I don't know what set this is from. but We got that. And then we got some packs of cards. So we got a pack of Steam Siege. We got a pack of Fates Collide. And we got this Japanese pack. This looks like a uh, promo pack. Should we open these? I guess let's go ahead and open these. Let's open this uh, Japanese promo pack first. Hopefully these aren't worth like a ton of money or something. One of those things that I shouldn't be opening. I think there's only about five cards in here. I used to collect Japanese cards. I don't know if these are actually regular Pokemon cards though. Oh, these look different. Wow, look at the back of these. These are cool. Are these real? I don't know what these are. These are, some of these are old cards, but they're cool. I don't know if these are real or not. This is a different type of back than I remember. So we got those cards. And then let's do our Fates Collide. We got a green card, which means that there's probably nothing in here. What's the, I don't know what the card trick is, so we're just going to go for it. We've got Diglett, Spoink, Coughing, Volibi, Riolu. Here's our reverse of Burmy, and then, yeah, nothing. This is a Mandy Buzz. Is that a rare card? We got a Lodred, a Wormadam, Wormadam? And then a poop poopatar, puppetar, a poopatar. <laughs> ah, funny. Okay, and then this is Steam Siege. I didn't collect any of these series, so I'm not really familiar with any of the like 
special cards that you can get in them. But this pack's hard to open. Oh, check it, check it. We got a white card. That means there's probably something good in here. Well, it might just be a regular hollow. I don't know what the thing was, but I think it was three cards. Move the last three cards from the back to the front, so. Let's see what we got. Okay, I'm not gonna read these two, just so I can go fast. Some kind of trainer. Oh, this is an interesting one, Clang. I like this one, this one looks fun. Shellos, a manky. This one's weird, see like they put like, it looks like they put a vinyl figure outside and took a picture of it. Fung fungus, fungus, <laughs> fungus, that's funny. Okay, here's a reverse hollow of Amungus, that's cool, so we have the evolution of that. And, oh, we got an EX card, that's cool. We got a Steelix EX card. Now, these are before the EX cards got super fancy, so this card is just like smooth, it's not textured. But that's super cool that we even got an EX card. I didn't think we were gonna get one. And luckily, I have these nifty card sleeves. I gotta go inside to get my thicker sleeves. And look, I'm gonna put it in the, the sleeve the right way because you guys always yell at me. So there we go. That's neat. All right, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting to get anything good, to be honest, out of those packs. I figured that they probably weighed them and only gave us like crappy packs, but that's kind of good to know. Sorry, I'm like super close to the camera. Okay, so that package was actually really cool. There was two packs, there's three packs of cards, two and a half packs of cards. That's $8 right there, plus another probably, I don't know, $3, so eight, nine, 10, 11. The plushie, even though it's probably fake, I'll give five, so that's, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This, the folder can get two, 17, 18. Two packs of these, which would probably be about at least a dollar each, 18, 19, 20, if not 21 and 22. Um, and then we got these things like, this is probably, I'd probably give like a dollar for the two of these, 23 plus a dollar for this eraser, 24, and then 50 cents for the sticker, 24.50. So about 24.50 worth of value, which isn't bad at all. This box cost about $21, I want to say. So it's you don't get too much extra value, but for a $20 subscription, you don't really expect that much value. But it's cool that we got Pokemon cards and the sleeves, and I'm actually pretty excited about that one. I'm excited that we got cool cards out of those packs. So let's go ahead and do this pack. So I'm gonna say this is for uh, September. This is what it looks like. Oh, is that a Magikarp plushie? Oh my gosh, this is cool. Okay, so we got a Magikarp plushie. This one looks a little bit more real than the other one. The tag looks more legit. And you also have like, it says Pokemon on the tag because the other one didn't say that. This isn't the best quality plushie, but it's still really cool. This is cool. It's a Magikarp plushie. This is cool. I love this. That's a cool plushie. I'm a fan of that. Wow, look at these. Oh my gosh. They gave us like tons of packs of cards and stuff. Okay, wait. So, I want to say whoever runs this probably owns, I, well, I think Legacy Parcel or the Legacy Shop is like a store because I say they probably do like Durian's Pokemon. They're a store, but they do a lot of videos and they probably just sell like all the stuff. So, like we got the dividers. This comes from an Elite Trainer box. So, those are like card dividers. They gave us three code cards, which again, I'm gonna bring to work. We got this thing, which looks like it's some kind of something from a Pokédex. I don't know if it's a Pokédex toy. But there we go. I don't know what we do with this, but it's in Japanese. Okay. We got another pack of, another two packs of card sleeves, although these ones are a little bit fancier than these ones. I wish that this this um, thing would give us more of the thicker card protectors, but that's okay, I mean, what can we do? So we got those, keep all the stuff separate. We got a Blastoise EX, oh, and a Rayquaza EX. So a Blastoise EX, they fit two cards in here, and a Rayquaza, which I think I have both of these, potentially, but I'm excited to get more of these because a lot of the kids want a chance to get EX cards out of my prize box, so it's cool that I'm getting more of these because I'll put those in my prize box. And then, we got all these cards, so let's see what we got. We got a pack of Sun and Moon cards. These are the dollar store packs. We got four of these like Japanese packs. I think these are very similar to the ones that I just opened. I don't know what these are and if these are real, but we got these. I don't know if anyone knows. And then we got three regular packs. We got three regular packs of Steam Siege. So let's go ahead and open these up fairly quickly. 
and see. For those of you who have watched some of my Pokemon videos, I did do that dollar store packs versus regular packs, and the dollar store packs actually won, so. These only come with three cards. I think the chances of getting like good cards are not as high, but I don't know. It's kind of just like random, to be honest. They don't give you code cards. They're just regular fake, not fake cards, just like promo cards. And these are the cards we got. So no rares. We got a Professor Kukui. Oh, Professor Kukui. That's actually pretty good. Uh, we got a Carvanha and a Stuffle. So set that to the side. Let's do these Japanese packs first because I don't really know what these are. And again, each of these comes with five cards. So it has the same back as the other ones. And then here are the cards that we got. I probably shouldn't open these because then I can just put these like in my giveaway, but I don't know. I don't know if you can get anything good. Do you get anything good out of these packs or are they just all like, these kind of look like promo packs. Anything good? Nope. It's so crazy how obsessed I was with Japanese cards before and now I'm like, eh, like they're okay. Like I was obsessed with Japanese cards before. So this one looks like it comes from a different set, but same concept, five cards. Oh, we got, we got a Gyarados! I've been watching too much of Darium's Pokemon. So I don't know if these are real or not, to be honest. I don't know if these are like fake or real. I don't know. These are, they, they have like a license thing on the bottom, but this is a Japanese card. It's a Gyarados GX. Does anyone know what packs these are? I don't even know what these are. Are these real? Either way, we got a good card, so that's cool. Get it all. Just to go with my magic card. Yes. All right, we got one more pack. I didn't think we could get good cards from these packs. So that's, that's fun. That's always fun times. Anything good on this one? Uh, we got a, like a, sort of reverse hollow card right here. Is that beware? Yeah, it's a beware. Okay, huh. Well, we got one good card out of these Japanese packs. That's cool. More than I thought we were gonna get. Okay, let's go ahead and open these Steam Siege packs. See if we got anything good out of these. Green code card, so probably not. Fletching. Tang growth. Hmm. Meowth. Oh, Ponita. Ruffle. Ruffle? Ruffle it. See, this is another one. This looks like real life, kind of, huh? Okay, a reverse hollow is of Clink. <laughs> it's called Clink. <laughs> and our rare card is a Talon Flame. So, no special like GX cards, but okay, let's do this pack. Green code card, probably nothing then. It's probably like a spoiler that I even do that, huh? I probably shouldn't do that because then we save the suspense because now there's no suspense, huh? We're getting some dupes. Another ponyta. Oh, we got a break card. So we got a break card this time of Talonflame, okay. I heard break cards aren't that cool. And then our rare is of Galvantula. That's our rare card. We got a break card though, that's cool. I could put that in my giveaway though. I feel like kids would like that. I know that the break cards don't really hold very much value, but again, the kids don't know that. All right, last pack of Steam Siege cards. These packs are really hard to open. Ah. Uh. So this set of um, packs kind of didn't really work out too great for us. Maybe if I do another Pokemon thing, I won't show the code card so that it'll leave us all in suspense. I mean, maybe I'll look at it, but I won't show you. Although, I feel like I wouldn't be able to hold my excitement if I saw a white code card. I'd be like, oh, guys, we got something good. There's a reverse. Croagunk is a reverse. And our rare is, oh, what is that? Clawwitzer. Looks like Dory. Oh, that's its claw. Doesn't that kind of look like Dory from Finding Nemo? All right, so that is everything from this, this month's box. I actually, I don't know which one I like. I mean, it's hard because I like the other one because we got, we actually pooled an EX card, but this one's cool because they gave us two EX cards. It's almost like they knew we didn't have any EX cards. They probably weighed the packs, but I like this Magikarp plushie a lot. So we got 
Three packs of Steam Siege, that's uh, four times three, which is $12 right there. We got four of the Japanese packs. I priced them at $3 with the other one, so we'll do the same. So another $12, that's already $24. Then we got this plushie, which is like awesome, and I would easily give this probably, probably anywhere from seven to $10. So even if we did eight or nine, that's uh, like $33. Plus they sent us two packs of, they sent us two packs of these, which is another probably $3 total because this one's nicer. So that's what, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. A couple code cards, 38, 50 cents for those, 38, 50. And then they gave us the Blastoise and the Rayquaza EX cards. So if we gave $3 each to those, that would be, I don't know, like 40 bucks. So this, and they gave us this plastic thing, which I don't know. Uh, this, I think the second pack was way better than the first pack. Uh, I didn't dislike the first pack though, so I actually like both of these. So I was gonna eventually, at one point I was gonna cancel this, but I actually like this this uh, subscription. So I think I'm gonna keep it for a little bit longer because I actually really like the items that we're getting. And I need to start bringing these to work, but now I can uh, actually give our kids, like I can give them card sleeves. I have so many of them now, they don't even have to wait to get in the prize box. I can just give it to them, which is really cool because it makes me cringe when I watch them play with their cards. I'm like, you have all these CX cards that you got and they're just not sleeved and you're just like, like, oh, and the rubber bands. And the, ooh, ugh. <laughs> so yeah, um, if I had to rate this one, I would give this one a, I don't know, what did I rate the other one? The other one probably was like a, probably a three point, uh, maybe, a, yeah, the 3.75 out of 5 noobs. This one I would probably give a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. Maybe even a 4.75 out of 5 noobs because the value is really good. So, anyways, if you like Pokemon or you have kids that like Pokemon, this might be a good option for you. All right, guys, that's all I have in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about these two packages. Uh, they're a little bit late, but I did enjoy them, so I'm a fan of that. Hopefully, they can um, catch up with their months, and hopefully, we can get some good items. But let me know what you guys thought down below. And do you guys want to see more Pokemon card unpacking videos? Because, uh, you know, since the kids at work are really into it, I'm totally, I, and I like Pokemon cards, I wouldn't mind doing more unpacking vid videos or pack opening videos just because then I actually have a place to put them afterwards. But let me know what you guys thought down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked to such a private, you'll make it on my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out goes to JC Hedrick. JC Hedrick. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. It looks like we have the same birthday. So happy birthday to you, JC. I don't know if I'm posting this today or tomorrow, but uh, either way, I hope you had a great birthday and I'm glad that we are birthday buddies. So JC, you get the video shout out. Shout out to you, JC. Shout out to you. All right, guys, have an amazing, wonderful, fantastic day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.